Subscribe GA. Hello everyone and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Austin tries to apply pressure. Ava. Dex was shocked when Michael said he wanted Dex to continue working for Sunny at Carly's mansion. Jocelyn objected, but Michael ordered Dex to investigate Pikeman and report back to him. When Carly revealed that she had come up with the concept rather than Michael, Jocelyn was taken aback. Dex requested a private conversation with Jocelyn. Jocelyn was informed of the significance of Carly's request before Carly and Michael left. Dex revealed to Jocelyn that he believed Sonny required Dex's protection and cautioned that Pikeman was a risky business while they were alone in the kitchen. Dex continued, saying that he had already made up his mind not to leave town and that his best option was to work for Sunny. Carly and Michael received a both terrible response from Jocelyn for asking Dex to keep Sunny safe. Dex emphasized how dangerous Pikeman was. Sunny, according to Carly, had never encountered a circumstance such to that with Pikeman. Michael continued, hoping Sunny wouldn't wind up placing his trust in the wrong people. Tracy informed the emergency personnel that Drew had attacked Ned at the Metro court pool. Although Tracy pointed out that it wasn't the first time Drew had attacked Ned, Drew made an attempt to protect himself. It wasn't the right time or place to argue, Olivia yelled. As Tracy and Olivia were heading to the hospital, Chase entered the scene. Tracy gave Chase the order to detain Drew just before she left. When Zeke showed there, Drew informed him that Tracy had claimed that Drew had attacked Ned. Chase requested Drew go with him to the police station with him so he could provide a statement. Drew whispered to Zeke that the two needed to make the pool incident disappear as quickly as possible before departing with Chase. The last thing we need is Tracy's outrageous charges to make our case against the SEC more difficult, said Drew. Later, in the Port Charles Police Department's interrogation room, Chase requested that Drew describe what had happened before to Ned's fall. Ned was running and yelling Drew's name when Drew remembered seeing him, and he noticed that Ned had fallen into the pool and was asleep. Drew continued by saying that he had given Ned CPR and that the paramedics had shown up shortly after. Drew denied making any kind of contact with Ned physically. Why would Tracy say differently? Chase questioned. Tracy and Drew, according to Drew, were at odds. A policeman interrupted and requested a quiet conversation with Chase. Chase departed the space. Drew later revealed to Zeke his concern for Ned. Ned, according to Zeke, was most likely Drew's best shot to have the insider trading allegations dropped. Chase studied the surveillance video from the Metro court pool outside in the foyer. Sunny was tempted to leave for Sunny's penthouse by Nina at Pozzolo's restaurant. Let's leave right away. Nina whispered to Sunny, Let's go home, get into bed, and let's pretend the rest of the world doesn't exist. Sunny stated that he was anticipating a call from Brick despite liking Nina's suggestion. A short while later, Brooke Lynn called Sunny to let him know that Ned was in the hospital. Sunny and Nina left together after Nina offered to accompany him to the hospital. Elizabeth received a call at the hospital from someone requesting to speak with Epiphany. Elizabeth broke down in tears as she informed the person that Epiphany had died. When Finn showed up, he and Elizabeth confessed to having missed Epiphany. Epiphany had warned Elizabeth to never take the hospital for granted, Elizabeth recalled. Elizabeth joked that Finn's secret was safe with her and noted that Finn seemed more upbeat and positive than he would have people think. Olivia was later joined by Tracy and Brooklyn in the hospital. That Ned was still unconscious was disclosed by Olivia. When Tracy saw Finn, she requested that him examine Ned. Tracy insisted, despite Finn's protests, that he wasn't a neurologist. After a brief absence, Finn returned to report that Ned was safe but unconscious. What had happened? Finn inquired. Tracy insisted that she had witnessed the entire collision, whereas Olivia insisted that she hadn't seen anything. He was assaulted by Draw Kane when he erupted into a rage, Tracy announced. When Sunny and Nina showed up, 
Sonny jumped to embrace an anxious Olivia. Ned was a warrior, and Sonny sought to reassure Olivia and Brooklyn that he would be all right. What had happened to Ned, according to Nina, was a horrible accident. Tracy argued that it wasn't an accident and that Drew had attempted to kill Ned. Tracy, according to Sonny, was merely seeking for someone to blame. Tracy retorted that Sonny always TJ stood up for those who and announced involved. that Ned suffered a severe brain injury. TJ stated that Ned was also experiencing hypoxemia and that he believed Ned's brain had been oxygen depleted for a significant period of time. Brooke Lynn questioned whether Ned may never wake up while Olivia wailed. Ned could only have one visitor at a time, according to TJ, who also stated that it was too soon to determine whether Ned was in a coma. Tracy advised Olivia to go first. Upon seeing Chase, Brooke Lynn jumped to give him a bear hug. Tracy questioned Chase about if Drew was locked up. Chase informed Tracy that the event had been captured on security camera footage and he asked if she wanted to retract her story. Tracy acquiesced to Chase's demands and acknowledged that Ned had fallen after slipping. Tracy departed to see Ned. At the same moment, an officer at the Port Charles Police Department informed Drew that he could go. Olivia begged Ned to wake up in his hospital room and cried as she professed her love for him. You need to return to us. You must return to me, Olivia pleaded. A little while later, Olivia left Ned's room, and Brooke Lynn went to see Ned. Nina offered to bring Olivia some food outside in the waiting area. Chase regarded a text he had just received while Nynan made an effort to console Olivia. From his phone, Chase looked up and fixed his gaze on Nina. Austin informed Ava at Metro Court that there were more grave threats than Sunny in the world. Ava remarked that Sunny was the only one who could keep Avery away from her and that losing her daughter would be the worst thing that could happen. Mason, according to Austin, has the power to ensure that Ava never sees anyone again. Going after Sunny, according to Ava, would be suicide. Austin retorted that if Ava didn't comply with Mason's wishes, it might result in both of them being killed. Austin claimed that Ava was aware of Sunny's weaknesses and that she could use them against him. Given that Sunny was Avery's father, Ava declared that she wouldn't betray him. Austin used Sunny's prior actions of preventing Ava from seeing Avery to try to persuade Ava to comply with Mason's wishes. Austin said it would be best for Ava if Sunny was gone for good. The two got into a fight after Ava vowed not to rob Avery of her father. Austin claimed that his primary goal was to keep Ava safe. Ava questioned Austin's motivation for guarding her. You're not boring, Ava, are you? Even when you're at your worst, you're never dull. You also say nasty things when you're at your finest, which makes me want to hear you say even meaner things. It is real. You have me covered here. It's similar to the burn you get after having a lot of alcohol, Austin remarked. Ava expressed her intention to consider Austin's proposal after appearing touched by his words. Austin refused to reveal his employer when Ava pressed him to do so since she should remain anonymous. Nicholas was brought up by Austin, who urged Ava to return the favor. Austin was accused by Ava of seeking a quid pro quo. Austin insisted that what he did was for Ava's benefit. The re c n t e s t h e a n e u s. Given that it has been kept a secret for so long, who do you believe is manipulating Mason? Or have you stopped caring? Given that it has been kept a secret for so long, who do you believe is manipulating Mason? Or have you stopped caring? Gladys feels like the scoop is being surrounded by walls. Discover what will happen this week on GH. As for Kate Monsey playing Christina, she said, there are shades of gray in everything. As for Kate Monsey playing Christina, she said, there are shades of gray in everything. Walt Willie, formerly of All My Children, has joined General Hospital as Jackson Montgomery Walt Willie, formerly of All My Children, has joined General Hospital as Jackson Montgomery. Ingo Raidmacher's case against ABC over the vaccine obligation was re g e c t d by the judge. Ingo Raidmacher's case against ABC over the vaccine obligation 
was reach ECT her Emmy nomination, her recollections of New York City, and more in her Emmy nomination, her recollections of New York City, and more winning Emmy Tyler Christopher, was detained for drunkenness in public winning Emmy Tyler Christopher, was detained for drunkenness in public. Lexi Ainsworth, a star of General Hospital, tells that she recently went on a soap opera audition. Lexi Ainsworth, a star of General Hospital, tells that she recently went on a soap opera audition. A new update on the GA star Haley Polo's vehicle accident has been released. A new update on the GH star Haley Polo's vehicle accident has been released. Jackie Zeman, Bobby Spencer, of General Hospital, is remembered for her life. Jackie Zeman, Bobby Spencer, of General Hospital, is remembered for her life. Due to the Writers Guild strike, the daytime Emmy ceremony has been postponed. Due to the Writers Guild strike, the daytime Emmy ceremony has been postponed. Jacqueline Zeman, a beloved General Hospital actor, passed away. Jacqueline Zeman, a beloved General Hospital actor, passed away. Turnaround Soap C. N. Troll Walt Willie, formerly of All My Children, has joined General Hospital as Jackson Montgomery Walt Willie, formerly of All My Children, has joined General Hospital as Jackson Montgomery. Jerry Douglas, John Abbott, will be honored in a special episode of The Young and the Restless. Jerry Douglas, John Abbott, will be honored in a special episode of The Young and the Restless. Will Faith suffer the same fatal destiny as her cat? Will Faith suffer the same fatal destiny as her cat? Are Chloe and Xander to your liking? Please explain your position on it. Are Chloe and Xander to your liking? Please explain your position on it. Given that it has been kept a secret for so long, who do you believe is manipulating Mason? Or have you stopped caring? Given that it has been kept a secret for so long, who do you believe is manipulating Mason? Or have you stopped caring? Should Liam follow Hope and Thomas while working for Ion Fashion in Rome? Should Liam follow Hope and Thomas while working for Ion Fashion in Rome? As for Kate Monsey playing Christina, she said, there are shades of gray in everything. As for Kate Monsey playing Christina, she said, there are shades of gray in everything. Sharon Case of Lee and R discusses fans, leading lady material, Emmys, and other topics. I and T R V I E V O U. Sharon Case of Lee and R discusses fans, leading lady material, Emmys, and other topics. N T R V I E D O. Ingo rated Macker's case against ABC over the vaccine obligation was reached -E -E by the judge. Ingo rated Macker's case against ABC over the vaccine obligation was reached -E -E by the judge. Krista Allen of B and B discusses her Emmy nomination, avoiding parties, her red carpet phobias, and other topics. Krista Allen of B and B discusses her Emmy nomination avoiding parties, her red carpet phobias, and other topics. Winning Emmy Tyler Christopher was detained for drunkenness in public. Tyler Christopher, an Emmy winner, was detained for public intoxication. Lexi Ainsworth, a star of General Hospital, tells that she recently went on a soap opera audition. Lexi Ainsworth, a star of General Hospital, tells that she recently went on a soap opera audition. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.